Well, 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 look at here. I guess you can call me 4K Stradamus because I predict things. You guys, this is the last format, episode two. If you didn't hear episode one, you can always go back and catch the replay here on Anchor, on Spotify, or over on YouTube. We got some things to talk about today. We got to go back in episode one and talk about some of the predictions I made for some of these upcoming releases or some of these releases that have come out since episode one when we talked about will there be some difficulties what would these transfers look like and oh yeah we can say I predicted it and I'm sure some of you did too but with that being said we got some breaking news over the last hour for some great 4k releases we've got some other pre-orders going up on websites and we've got some other announcements you guys this is the last format podcast episode two i am your host 4k d ray let's head on into 4k studios let's get to it What is going on, everybody? I am your host, 4K D-Ray. I want to thank you for coming on over and giving the last format podcast another listen. Thank you to everybody who listened to episode one. I definitely appreciate it. If you haven't caught up on it, definitely check it out here on Anchor, on Spotify, or YouTube. Now, you guys, last week, we talked a little bit about, you know, all these great 4K transfers are coming out, mostly horror from all these great boutique labels as well as some major studios. But the issue is how many of them will look good? How many of them will have some bad transfers? Well, there were a few that we had run into some issues. A couple of releases that came out that people weren't very happy about. We had Friday the 13th part one on 4K, which a lot of people were saying was a very dark transfer. But For me, it wasn't too dark. As you guys already know, Friday the 13th is a rather dark movie, rather dark franchise altogether. Most of the scenes take place at night, natural, real lighting, by candlelight, by nighttime with the moon in the background, things like that. So it's naturally just going to be a dark movie. It was not as bad as people were saying, but for some people, it was just a bit too dark for them but still a very good transfer in my opinion. Up next, we have Fatal Attraction on 4K. Not the best release, yet things did still look a little filmic throughout the movie, but there were some spots that just did not look very good, but still a very solid 4K transfer, especially at $19.99. You really can't go wrong with it. And if you love these movies, you guys, don't let these reviews sway you. Be your own critic at the end of the day. If you love the movie, you're willing to pay the price. Go ahead and pick it up. Be your own critic. But last but not least, you guys, we had Platoon on 4K, which, oh boy, where do we even start? So Platoon on 4K came as a native 4K transfer, Dolby Vision HDR10 in an aspect ratio of 1.85 to 1. Your audio aspect was DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. Now to start things off, the biggest issue that came with this platoon is that it was sourced from the same master that was used for the 2018 Steelbook release, which was not very good here. So things just didn't turn out well for this one as well. So as you all know, one of the biggest complaints with Terminator 2 was the overusage of DNR and the same thing happened here with Platoon. There was just way too much use and close-ups just didn't look very natural and very much less than ideal. For the movie itself, the film just never had that filmic look to it because of all that over-smoothing, taking away that natural grain. And with that being said, while this may not be the waxiest of movies, That still may belong to Terminator 2. This one is not that far behind. Dolby Vision and HDR10 doesn't even do much more to help boost the overall look of this one. 
So this is one that you definitely probably do not want to pick up until it probably gets below that $10 price point. Unless you just really love Platoon that much, you weren't happy with that 2018 release that you just wanted on 4K. Me personally, I would rather wait to see if maybe there will be a re-release of this one that's corrected over time. We shall see 